Uh, Jacques Nienabar spoke yesterday for the first time. If people missed it, some of the more interesting points. His wife said to him, I can't do another four years of this. Uh, <laughs> part of the reason that um, he made the move, more family time. They were out for dinner this week, which wouldn't have been um, all that possible previously, it would seem. Uh, he was at pains to say, I don't have a silver bullet here. I can't say, well, if we do X, Y and Z, we'll suddenly win. But he did talk about staying in games and making the big moments count as mm. being the core of his philosophy. Leinster won't necessarily defend the same way South Africa did or Munster did under him. Depends on the profile of player. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't buy into this physicality at no. Leinster or Irish rugby. Irish teams often rank very highly in terms of weight, he was saying. So he doesn't subscribe to this, not least with La Rochelle on the horizon at the weekend. And I suppose in terms of how the coaching ticket will work, he was again emphasising clarity being key, as in if players come to him about a specific issue, he needs to know if that's him or Leo or Andrew Goodman. Coaching ticket has to be very clear on who's responsible for what. So that was about the gist of Nina Arbor yesterday, Jerry. You were there. Anything strike you about his performance? Um, profoundly passionate, deep thinker about the game with a huge work ethic, very detailed in his preparation, knew an awful... People were kind of, oh, why is he not in Leinster yet? Why is he not in Leinster yet? But when he arrived, he'd apparently done all his homework. A bit like Bielsa turning up at Leeds, having watched all Leeds matches. Do you remember famously? Yeah. That kind of detail and passion. I think it's going to give a good, really good lift to the whole organisation. Not least because he comes with the pedigree of a two-time World Cup winner. That commands respect. Mm -hmm. But just the way he delivers as well... There's something very uh, compelling and endearing and honest about it. And I was we got an audience of about 25 minutes with him, which is most unusual. And I've interviewed him before, but this I just think he's gone on to another level since then when he was with Munster. And, yeah, he's going to tailor the defensive system to suit Leinster's needs. But I think you will see an even bigger line speed and aggressiveness in defence than we've had before. You might see the employment of shooters... You know, it'll use the athleticism of the Leinster players. I think they're going to have a new emphasis on their defence and it's going to be very interesting to see how this <coughs> evolves over the course of the season. But my initial impression, Joe, was this guy's going to make a difference.